Welcome to Real Early Britain. Folks, tonight I've got another beer for you. This one comes from the Badger uh, Ales, and it's their fucking Fox, coming in at 4.6% ABV. Folks, I had this on cask about three years ago. Absolutely loved it, um, and I sessioned it all night, uh, and then I went back to the pub three days later and just sessioned it again. This is the first time I've had it in bottles, and I think this is the first time they've put it in bottles, so really looking forward to trying it. So, Badger Ales, fucking Fox, 4.6%. I love their bottles, they put a lot of work into it, and what is even better is they've put this in a brown bottle. Fantastic. Because a lot of their bottles are um, clear. So, beer had a nice hiss. And as always, badger glass, straight in with the pour. So this beer is pouring with good carbonation. Um, just leave it there. It's poured a Three finger head, which is just off white in colour, um, and the beer is completely uh, transparent as you'd expect because all the beers are pasteurised. But it's a deep, deep um, autumn red orange colour. Very, very nice. Um, as I was pouring it, you were getting this lovely maltiness. So let's go straight in with the nose. Oh, the first thing you get is these massive, massive toffee, buttery notes. You get digestive biscuits. You get a little bit of toffee apple. You get fresh white bread. And you get a light lemon um, note as well. I'm going straight in. Cheers. Oh. Boy, if you love your multi beers, big toffees. Butter, a little bit of caramel, um, autumn leaves, it's earthy, it's got black pepper. Then there's this wonderful, uh, very, very um, light citrus lemon notes, which is intercepted with a beautiful grassy, grassy bitterness. Um, this beer to me is an autumn beer, you know, one of them ones, you've worked hard all day, the nights are starting to get... Um, short but become longer as it gets dark you want to come in you want to sit back you want to relax folks this is the beer for you or not even that you know a, a very very late summer's evening maybe just before the sun goes down sitting out in the garden what is so unique about this beer is how they've got this really nice buttery caramel toffee and malts and how they all intertwine with each other the malts and the hops go absolutely fantastic. And there's this wonderful, as I said, um, light citrus lemon note starting to pop through. Carbonation wise, this beer's spot on. You know, 4.6%, very, very sessionable. Um, very, very good beer. Probably um, one of their best in bottle format. And it reminds me so much of the cask. Hmm. What's the finish like in this beer? Sorry, just before that. The carbonation is spot on. The mouthfeel is excellent. This uh, beer, I did purposely serve at room temperature just to see if it got the exact same um, notes as it did with the cask, and it does. So, the finish in this beer. The beer is malty. The beer is grassy. And followed by lovely citrus notes, which kind of dispense into a light, last and dry bitterness. What do I give Badger Ales for their freaking fox at 4.6%? Let me tell you, folks, get this beer, try it, review it. This, to me, without a doubt, is a 9 out of 10 beer. A 9 out of 10 beer. That's Real Ale Britain doing a review on Badger Ales. Freaking fox. 4.6%. Cheers. Slam a car.